Let's see the output which we are creating. Here score is changing by 1 when a ball touches to small balls. Also, the size of a ball is increased by 1. Depending on the mouse pointer direction ball is moving. Let's start to create such amazing game using Scratch Desktop application. To open Scratch Desktop click on Start, Scratch Desktop. To save a file go to File. Save to your computer. Select the desired location. And enter a file name. Click on Save. Let's start by adding new sprite and writing script. We don't want this default cat sprite. To delete this click here. We have used a graph image in the background. For this download a suitable graph image from Google and upload here. To upload this image click on Upload Sprite. I have already downloaded that graph image and stored it on the desktop. On starting the game, the image should move to the center. To do this use control palette when green flag clicked block. Now set motion palette to go to x y block to x equals 0 and y equals 0. We have to make the graph image really large. For this drag switch backdrop block from looks palette. Now go to costume window to add a new blank costume at the start. Here on the start we will show this blank costume. Change switch costume to costume 1. We can change its size to larger using looks palette. To enlarge it use set size block and change the size to 500% or as per your requirement. On changing the size, we are changing costume to graph costume. Now we have to add a main big ball and its food that is small balls. Click on choose sprite and paint. Draw a circle. Change color. We can change its border if required. To paint its food draw another sprite. Draw a small circle. Change its color. Now let's start to write logic. Here we will make the graph paper move. Go to the graph paper sprite. And then add another when the game starts. Drag forever loop. We have to move the background as per mouse movement. We know that vertical is the Y axis and horizontal is the X axis. Drag motion blocks change X and change Y block. Change the X and Y position wherever the mouse pointer is. For this use sensing block. Mouse X and mouse Y block. To move the graph with mouse direction. Let's check it by running the script. Movement is lightning fast. We have to slow down it. Go to operators and drag multiplication operator. Multiply the speed by minus 0.03. It working fine. You can change values for different speed. Now come to main sprite click on the green ball. You can change the sprite name to main. And another to food. Drag when green flag click block set its size to 100% from looks palette. Use motion blocks go to xy. To make it at the center by specifying x equals 0 and y equals 0. Use forever loop. In the forever loop we will check the condition whether the main sprite touches to food sprite. Using an if else block from the control palette. The touching block is available in sensing palette. If it touches to food, its size will be increased by 1. Using change size block from looks palettes. We can change its color by 10 on touching food. Using change color effect block. It's working fine. Now we will write a script for food. We have to create clones which are copies of food sprite. Clones will generate randomly. To do this use control palette when green flag clicked block. Use forever loop to create clones continuously. Drag control palettes create a clone of myself block. Now we have to add functionality to clones. For this drag when I start as a clone from control palette. We have to change its position to a random position. 
Use go to XY block. Drag pick a random block from operator's palette. Here X axis is from minus 240 to 240. And the Y axis is from minus 180 to 180. But it's creating in a large amount. We have to add weight block during clone creation. The weight block is available in the control block. Let's run it. Now it's working fine. We can change the color of clones as well. For this use change color effect block from looks palette. Now we will get color clones. Here the first food sprite is not changing its position. So we will have to add hide block at the start. And show block in clone creation. Now add forever block to move clones. As per the mouse direction, use change x and y block. Change x with mouse x position. And change y with mouse y position. The mouse x and mouse y block is present in the sensing palette. Let's check it. We have to slow down the mouse speed. Use multiplication operator from operator palette. And multiply mouse x and y with minus 0.01. Which makes the main sprite to catch food sprite. It working as per expectation. If clones touches to the main sprite, we have to delete that sprite. For this use if block touching condition for the main sprite. Drag touching main sprite block. When it touches we will add a small 0.1 seconds wait. And use delete this clone. Which will delete that particular clone. And others will remain as it is. Here when it touching the main sprite the clone is going to disappear. We can add sound block when it touches. From sound palette. We can show the number of clones it touches. As a score at the top of the screen. To create a variable click on variables palette. Click on make variables. Add the variable name as a score. Click on OK. The score is now appearing on screen. Let's come to the main sprite. Drag set score to 0. At the start of the game. In the food sprite. When it touches to food. We will change the score by 1. Using change score block. So we have done with the game. Let's check its code once again.